Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rafe Gal. <clears throat> we are doing another door percent run for Final Fantasy IV Randomizer. Uh, I was hoping it would give it a chance to redeem itself after the uh, Palum Dark Knight Cecil start, but we got Edward. So yeah, uh, as a reminder, this is a version of the game where we're going to have to uh, get all of the keys. So Baron Key, Magma Key, Power Key, Luga Key. Let's give it a shot. I think we're going to jump right in. We'll see where it goes from there. Sit. Okay, that's better. That's better. We can deal with that. Okay. Oh, and I did a loaded or er, a mid start for this. So we actually got some uh special items that we didn't get last time. I think it's called Better Kit. Since we had so much trouble with the shopping, this this time I figured we'd start with some, like, hourglasses or coffins or something, so you have that for later. Seemed fun. Seal cake. Go with my standard start. So we're going to start with Troya Castle and get the uh, Twin Harp. Or the spot where you get the Twin Harp in the regular game. And raid their basement. Baron Key. Decent start. One key down. Okay. Karate. Diamond. Vampire. Got a few things that could be good for killing early bosses, at least. I don't think... I'm going to double check what we got here, but I'm pretty sure... Hedron Firebomb... Yeah, we did not actually get... Uh, Some of the things I'd genuine or the top things I'd be looking for. So we're still gonna stop and uh, check a couple places along the way to see if we can get some uh, like a siren. Hey, okay, we can't afford that. Uh. That shuriken was worth a lot of money, apparently, so we'll go with that. And... <clears throat> That'll let us back bro glitch, Sid. Um, I think this has standard character pools. Yeah, we'll go ahead and jump in. Check who the character and bosses are here. Ugh. Well, this is possibly almost as bad as last time. Okay, 
Dancing Dagger, that's an improvement. Okay, this is probably going to be shaping out to be similar. Except we've got the starting kit this time, so we can do a bit more... Uh, a little bit more power going. Uh, Baron in... We'll see. I'll save and try it. What, what, what's the worst that could happen? We lose a little bit of time. Um, my thought there is... It's a moon boss, but it's a moon boss in a really weak spot. We might be able to actually take it. I did that wrong. And we want it's like silver and diamond. Edward is going to dancing dagger. Roddy, silver. Sid is faster. Big wave is fine. It's gonna take half of their health off. Vampire heal and kill or er, heal myself and kill that guy. Second moon boss. <laughs> okay, we're dead. We're probably dead here. Uh, let's see what we could do. Uh... this actually works somehow, I will be shocked. Literally on the nose damage. Yeah, that's a bit much. <sighs> we should be able to do a few other things first, get some levels, and then be fine. Check out Damsian and make sure... This will also verify whether or not our... Uh, Uh, characters are on when we get the hovercraft. <clears throat> so I was dumb and didn't check. Well. Nope. That's what I thought. No free lunch for characters. Uh, 
Um, let's see what this character is and who the boss is. We've already seen two uh, moon bosses, which is actually a good thing. Like, unfortunately, those are spots where you'd be okay seeing Wyvern, because the HP pool is so low that he just kills himself. Tella fighting karate. I guess we'll take Tella. Someone pointed out I wasn't using items enough early game, and it does make it way easier. I also didn't understand how Vampire worked, and it's apparently a really good item, and I didn't think it was. I've been selling them. Aegis. Tella comes with Exit, at least. That's good for now. Charm Claw. If we find a Yang, that's okay. We've got a couple Claws and some uh, other gear. <clears throat> we have some Magic Rods for Tella, at least. That'll be okay. We'll get us started. And honestly, I mean... With these runs where you don't actually have to fight Zeromus, I don't think Tell is as bad. He's still really slow and really annoying, but... Like, I feel like in this... In some of these, like... Ones where you don't have to do all the bosses... Could actually be okay. We want Lilith. Anything? Roddy. And Rune. I don't think. Yeah, that's a two handed weapon, so we can't actually give him anything there. Pretty sure we're good there. Yep. I just realized I didn't heal. Which is mostly important because Edward leveled up. And we still at like 50 hit points. Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm not super worried about this boss. Baron Guards. <clears throat> Life glitch. Uh, it's not a ton of uh, hit points. Or it's not a ton of XP at this point, but our characters are pretty low level. Uh, Edward should still be getting double, so 
Better than nothing. Earth crystal. This has access to a bit more. Uh, mostly treasure at this point. I don't think we're probably looking to do Bab or Zot, but you know, if we need to, we can. It's a path we can take. Bull. Feeling like we're probably going to end up doing our deals. And I already used my Boreas, so let's try the Gaia Drum here. And the Vampire. Mombum has a lot of hit points because of the transformation sequence here, so... see how we do. That's not that bad. Um, I have a plan. When in doubt, wake. <laughs> Sand Ruby. Free character. We need characters right now. God, do we need characters right now? Okay, next stop will be, so yeah, we'll, we'll go turn Sand Ruby, um, I do want to pop in to the weapon shop, partially, just to see what they've got. <clears throat> uh, actually, Samurai Arrows. Are really good. Clear out some of the stuff we're definitely not using. Some money. Okay, we do have an archer bow, so we'll get rid of the crossbow. Get rid of the succubus.
typo. Turn in the sand ruby for a cane. That's slightly unfortunate. <laughs> I just sold the fire spear. I mean, it's not a great weapon, but it's better than whatever else Kane would be using right now. We'll check the shop. There's a weapon armor shop here, so. Hey, it's a Goonier for 66,000. That's actually really cheap for an endgame weapon. Um, <laughs> can we make it work? We may have to come back for it, unfortunately. We're getting a good chunk of the way there, but I don't want to sell everything. Unfortunately, there's not really a good time to come back to this place, but if we've got pain, it's worth it. Those are also very expensive. Whatever. We'll roll. It's fine. Actually, no. We're going to do... I was going to say we can go get Cecil, which honestly isn't a terrible idea still. I want to go do loot first, just in case we find good stuff for King. Who is also lower level than everybody else right Yup, we're good. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we may actually be able to afford the Goon near too. But we don't actually need to because Defense Sword. So, yeah. I saw some goodies there for uh, Cecil also. So, I think plan is going to be Baron Inn or Deals and see where we're at from there. Uh, Aegis, Defense Sword, Diamond Helm. Dragoon armor. Uh, intentionally gave him the better armor there. Because Sid can be in the back row. Oh, we've got a dwarf axe. We could actually put him in the back row. Yeah. Yeah. do that for this fight since he's not uh got le any levels yet
Okay. Hailed him. I think we'll be okay. I don't think any of these should trigger counterattacks. And that's always the scariest thing for this boss. Hey, DK Cecil. Magma Key. Awesome. That makes our next choices easier. <clears throat> so we're definitely doing ordeals. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. Um... From more deals, we're gonna get to probably go underground, probably do the pan and get our free key item and see where we're at. We honestly have most of the <clears throat> We're at halfway on the keys already. You don't actually need to get everything. So it or we don't need to do everything. So all we have to do for a lot of those is unlock the door. <clears throat> Don't have a character for Tierra. Power staff. Samurai armor. Sid. That's what I thought. Oh, he's still using it. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to switch that back, and we're going to move up the Earth Hammer. So it's easier for him to get to. Dark Elf. Shouldn't be bad in this spot, I don't think. <clears throat> uh, Kane should basically just dance through this. Yeah. Everybody did? Okay, we're good. Oh no, you turned my melee only character into a pig that can only do melee attacks. Ah. 
Uh, Cecil's sword is darkness element. So having him use the uh, magic item instead. <clears throat> Keep forgetting you can actually uh, use stop on that guy. It's not a huge deal. Um, and honestly, it's not a super hard spot, so I'm okay with saving my hourglass for later. Especially since I've only got one right now. I'd much rather have it for something like Cabrena. Miss Dragon. Should be about the same. Actually is weak to darkness, so Cecil should do extra damage. I don't think this should trigger a counterattack. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Pause and uh, run away makes the shaking animation go faster. It does go all the way to the bottom of the screen, not just through the sprite. <clears throat> Goodbye, Mist. You will be missed. Yes, that joke was horrible. No, I don't care. <coughs> and harp? <clears throat> Paladin Cecil. He should be okay. Uh, he's only got a thousand hit points.
So Twin Harp, Cecil, Tella's got all his spells. Um, that's right, he doesn't have MP. That's why he sucks. I forgot. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> uh, Cecil's got Lightbringer and a Crystal Gauntlet. So he's basically awesome. Those are both equipment that are only for him. Picking those up is what kind of solidified that yes, this is the direction I need to go. And second Age of Shield. That's right, you can't go go down first. I think it's one screen and then you can do it. <clears throat> nope, you have to walk down. Okay. Fine. I didn't want to exit anyway. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, let's hit up Agart. Whoops. I don't remember, is there like, yeah. I like never actually pick up treasure in this town. I just usually get the magma key and should have uh, just unlocked the door with the bearing key while I was there. Unlock the sewers. <clears throat> just to save myself a trip later. It's not a huge deal. But I could have saved, or I could potentially have saved myself from having to make another trip to Baron. Macro glitch. Silent staff is good. Char is good. <clears throat> if we, at this point, if we find a white mage, a better white mage, we'll be in really good shape there. Although, honestly, I may just equip it on Tella. Can't equip the tiara, though. I mean, I suppose technically I should be doing like. Oh, never mind. Am I forgetting something? Oh, I was gonna buy things. That's what I was. Okay, so I could technically afford. Wow. 
one Zeus Gauntlet, and two Black Belts. But I don't need two Black Belts. I think I should be good with... You know what? No. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. I stop overthinking this. Uh, I'm going to give Cecil. No, Cecil's got Crystal. So Kane gets the Zeus Gauntlet. Uh, he's got Dragoon. I think I'm going to give Sid. And Edward. <laughs> Black Belts. And then swap these two. What's going on? <clears throat> Unfortunately, my water's in. That might be a sign it's time to take a break soon. I'm getting close to the normal break time. So Pan's not actually going to give a key item here, because summons aren't turned on. Crystal Helmet. So, Cecil's even more broken. So we're going to go to... Or check uh, summon monsters. Uh, the bosses here don't give items, so we don't really care. Or don't give key items, rather. <clears throat> so we're just going to go get the, the free item. Quick check on the shops and call it good. Brody, poison. Eh. The downside of wild is uh, when you get to these areas that normally have good stuff, it's like, oh, okay, I guess. The crystal. <coughs> we don't have to do zero must, so that's not a boot. All right, not a thing. Uh, coffins. Just in case, I suppose. Check real quick to see if either of them are, uh, if either of the bosses are uh, <clears throat> something that we could cheese. Nope.
Those are both very fast spots to have Golbez and Kanazo. Okay, let's see how much money we can make. <clears throat> That's some good gear. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get enough for more. That's unfortunate. Is it super out of the way? And I would really like to get <clears throat> at least the sorcerer robe also, if not another protect ring also. No, not happening. That's unfortunate. Okay. So, we have successfully... <clears throat> We have successfully gone and uh, checked all of the free spots, pretty much. I guess we need to still actually go see what's on the other side of the... Um, like, go return the Panda Yang's wife. Yeah. No, if I'm getting that much money, I'm going to save it up for that sorcerer robe in the other location. <clears throat> Although this one doesn't require going all the way back through the cave. Okay, so I think we're going to head back up to Fabul, check those spots. Uh, maybe Twin Harp? And then from there, we'll hit up uh, Baron Castle. We'll see where our levels look like from there. And uh, that'll probably be the plan. Um, <laughs> I am going to save and take a break and uh, stop choking to death <clears throat> before, uh, before we jump back in, though, and actually start running dungeons. Luka Key. We're actually almost there. Adamant. Okay. Did we get a legend sword earlier? I didn't think so. No. So we've got a lot of keys. Uh, we're... We're making progress. We still need the pass also, I forgot about. <sighs> so. Yeah. We'll plan to pick back up next time with, uh... Dark Elf? So, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.